All right, guys, it's that time again. I'm back to answer your questions. And this time we're talking about Jason Voorhees. The first question comes from Ashley Burchett, AJ Lee fan. Her first question is, what is the worst Friday the 13th movie? I don't think any of them are really bad. Uh, I guess I would have to say 2009. I'm going to have to say that one. I mean, it, it just didn't feel like a Friday the 13th at all. Too many reasons to say why I feel that way, but for one thing, no atmosphere, and they took away the, you know, the kick, 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 ma, ma, ma thing. They didn't take it away, but they ruined it. Like, it, it doesn't even sound the same. It just didn't feel like a Friday the 13th movie to me. Um, second question is, who is your favorite character? Uh, probably Tommy Jarvis. And then you say, what's your favorite kill? I don't really have a favorite kill from the Friday the 13th movies. I have to say that I don't I don't have a favorite one. Although I guess if I had to pick one, I would say it was the one where he smashed the girl's face through the mirror in part six. If I had to pick one. Okay, thank you for submitting your questions, Ashley. I'm going to go to the next set of questions now, and they come from HorrorFan1989. And he says, or she says, I don't know what gender this person is, but they have written here, Do you think Jason is dead for good at the end of Jason X? It definitely appears that way. I have to say that it looks it looks like he's dead. I think they intended on killing him. Then you ask, do you think bullets would have killed the human Jason in parts 2 through 4? Um That's a very interesting question and you go on to say if you notice, he never took any gunshots until part 6. Uh, wow. And yeah, you're right. That's when he became a zombie. I'm going to say probably not, although it depends on where you shoot him. If you shoot him in the head, maybe, because he was still somewhat human. So you're right about that. Very good question. I like that. And then your third and final question is, have you seen any of the Friday the 13th movies in theaters? I have not, unfortunately. I wish I could have. Alright, going to the next fan and his set of questions. Thank you, HorrorFan1989, for submitting questions. Oh, here we are. <laughs> GojiraFan1954. What's up, bro? This is my man right here. He said, how did Jason come back after drowning? I don't know. I asked Tom McLaughlin that same question when I interviewed him about part six. That's a very good question. And then your second question is, why does Jason keep his mom's head? Probably as a memento. You know, he wanted to have her there in some tangible way and your third question is did they ever say who jason's father is or was all i know is that uh his name was elias Voorhees, and i think he used to take care of jason's grave that's all i know about that and then you say how did jason get his mask well, he took it from the kid in part three. That's all I know. I don't know of any origins story regarding the hockey mask. Then you say, were you expecting Jason to cross over with Freddy? Uh, I'd heard about it for years. So, yes, I kind of was. I kind of figured that they would do that eventually. But I thought that they would include Michael. 
and the other horror icons to go with it. And then you say, I know you didn't like the Halloween movies, but are you aware that Freddy vs. Jason was almost directed by Rob Zombie? No, I did not know that. That is very interesting, sir. I like that. That's very interesting. I like knowing these little facts and tidbits of information. Then you say, did you ever play the latest Friday the 13th game? If you mean the latest one uh, for PlayStation and Xbox, no, I have not. I've watched it online, though. And then you go on to say, how would you feel about a hybrid Jason, Michael, and Freddy? Wouldn't like it. And your final question is, what would you have changed in Freddy vs. Jason? Well, it would have been Kane hotter, for one thing. And Jason would have had his regular look. He doesn't need to wear that big jacket. So... I don't know where they got that from. Thank you, Gorgira fan 1954. Next up is the Skull Clown. What's up, bro? Said, how do you see Friday the 13th coming back? I don't know what you mean by that. If you mean what kind of movie do I think we're going to get? Probably another reboot. Although I know Tom McLaughlin was working on something. With all females. That's what I've heard. I don't know if they're going to let that go through. The next question comes from a fan I've never seen before. Miles Brown. If you're new to the channel, thank you. And I hope you subscribed. He says, Can you see yourself writing a Friday the 13th film? Um. Well, like I said, Jason used to be my first love, so to speak. So yes, I could definitely see myself doing that. I would need a source of inspiration though. It would probably be a sequel to Jason Goes to Hell. The next set of questions come from Sebastian Nika. He says, Did you like Jason better when he was undead or still human? I like the undead Jason as long as he doesn't look too gross. Part 6 didn't look too bad. So, yeah, I hope that answers your question. And then you say, and if they were to reboot the franchise and keep one of the old films canon, which film would you like to see them canonize and continue from whilst ignoring the other old movies? Very good question. I guess that would be either Jason Goes to Hell or Friday the 13th Part 6. So I hope that answers your question. The next set of questions come from the Conspiracy Trifecta. And by the way, Sebastian, thank you for submitting questions. I appreciate it. Alright, on to you, Trifecta. You ask, what do you want and what do you not want from Friday the 13th films? Look, as long as it's a good story and it has that Friday the 13th atmosphere, I'm cool with it. As long as they stay true to the lore of Jason. So, that's, you know, that's all I care about. Then you say, what's your favorite fan film? Don't have one. And then you said, where would you rank the Friday the 13th series? Among the great horror franchises, it's the second for me. It would be number two for me. Michael Myers, then Jason, and then Freddy. Next question comes from Resident of Collinwood. And Conspiracy Trifecta, thank you for submitting questions. I appreciate it. All right, on to the next question. He says, why do you think we haven't seen Jason's father in the franchise? Well, sir, um, again, when I listened to my interview with Tom McLaughlin, he did talk about that. Make sure you guys go and check out that interview 
with Tom McLaughlin. It's very interesting. I'm going to post a card on there so you can check out the link on this video. I don't know. Tom wanted to do some things with Jason's father. But for whatever reason, he didn't get to do them. I think it came down to money. So, that's why. And the other writers and directors just, I guess for whatever reason, didn't follow up with it. The next question comes from Elite Gamer 233 and resident of Collinwood. Thank you for submitting questions. And he says, "Do you think they'll do a sequel to the 2009 Friday the 13th?" Well, I hope not. Elite Gamer, thank you for submitting a question. B Hunt 799 says, when do you think the Friday the 13th franchise went downhill? Well, Jason Goes to Hell wasn't that bad. So, I would say, um, probably Jason X. I mean, I liked it alright, but I still think that that was a little much. Your next question says, which era do you think was better? The New Line era or the Paramount era? Paramount, definitely. And then you say, what was the first Friday the 13th movie that you ever saw? Part 5. And then you say, what was your favorite movie in the franchise? Um, part 6, I guess. B Hunt 799 thank you for submitting questions. The next question comes from... Josh Voorhees the 13th. Is Jason Voorhees one of the most unstoppable and immortal slashers that keeps coming back? Okay, Josh, again. I can't answer that. It depends on your point of view. I can't answer something that has to do with how you feel about something. So, I can't answer that. It depends on your point of view. Thank all of you for submitting questions. Next, I will be doing an Elm Street Q&A. And then after that, I might do a Chucky episode of Q&A. So get your questions ready. I'm the Michael Myers fanatic. I approve this message. Thank you guys for submitting questions. I really appreciate it. Get ready for the next one.